Good morning, my friends. You know, there's an old story that's told about old McDonald. You know, he had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. But this McDonald needed to plow his field because of a dry spell that was about to set in, and his plow was broken. So McDonald says, I know, I'll ask my neighbor, Farmer Murphy, to use his plow. He's a good man, and I'm sure he'll have finished his plowing by now, and he'll be happy to lend me his plow. So old McDonald began to walk the three fields over to his neighbor's farmhouse. After he walked the width of one of the fields, he said to himself, I hope that Murphy has finished all of his plowing, or he won't want to let me borrow his plow. Then he continued to walk. And about halfway across the next field, he thought to himself, what if Murphy's plow is old and it's on its last leg? He won't want to lend it to me in that kind of shape. And he kept walking. In the last field, old MacDonald thought, you know, Murphy was never a very helpful fellow. I bet he won't even let me use his plow, even if it's in perfect working order. And he, and he finished his plowing weeks ago. So as old Mac is just getting to the farmhouse, he, he thinks, that blasted Murphy, he can be a real mean person. I bet even if he has all his plowing done and is just sitting there, he won't lend it to me just to see me go to ruin. So old McDonald walks up to Murphy's farmhouse and there he is sitting on the front porch swinging Murphy looks up and he says, well, good morning, McDonald. What can I do for you this fine day? The old McDonald looks at him and says, well, you can just keep your rotten plow. I don't need your help anyway. Now, <laughs> this story illustrates to us how we talk to ourselves. And we talk ourselves out of what we know we ought to do instead of just going and and doing it and being positive about it. Here are a few steps to maintaining a healthy mental diet. Number one, work hard to be aware of your thoughts and that they're yours. Number two, ask yourself regularly whether the thoughts you are thinking are useful and helpful. Number three, Regularly acknowledge the fact that you can choose your own thoughts. Four, reduce the time spent on unnecessary thoughts. Number five, remove the thoughts that cause stress and anxiety because those lead to other health problems. Six, remove thoughts of anger resentment and envy. Forgiveness helps to remove these. Number seven, concentrate on a positive view of the future and leave the past and those past fears behind. Eight, your concentration by reading books and material, positive material will build you up. That will improve your concentration. Hey, a good mental diet can help reduce the mental noise in our lives and to help gain inner peace, our mental focus and mental mastery. All of which are things that many would love to have these days. Now, I hope this has been helpful and that you'll share this with your friends. Go ahead and hit that share button. I love you all. And hope you have a fantastic day. I'll be back tomorrow afternoon to talk about the more spiritual side of this topic. About how to maintain the heart. I'll see you then. Take care. Mike out.